Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm super excited to show you the 2023 BMW X7. This is BMW's flagship SUV besides the XM, which I don't really consider a flagship. Um, anyways, this has a split headlight design, and to me it looks nice. It took a while to grow on me, but I think it looks really, really different and unique. Um, again, BMW signature kidney grills. This is a large SUV coming around to the side, um, and you can see that this is actually a three-row SUV, so it's one of their bigger options that BMW offers. Um, the rims are pretty basic on this one. This is the X-Drive 40. All X7s are all-wheel drive. Um, and as you can see, it's just a big SUV. They updated the back as well. And you see, I also really like the new updated taillight design. Coming around to the side, um, as you can see, this is, again, a very large SUV. Under the hood, you have two engine options. The standard X-Drive 40i comes with a 3.0 liter turbocharged inline six engine with a mild hybrid technology offering around 375 horsepower. This is updated key. Um, in addition, for those who want more power, the M60i model delivers a thrilling performance with a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 offering a robust 523 horsepower power it can get zero to 60 in about 4.5 seconds moving on to the interior bmw has spared no expense the x7's cabin is crafted with high quality materials like leather wood and metal trims giving it an upscale feel the seats are very comfortable with standard heated front seats and available ventilation and massage functions. With three rows, the X7 comfortably seats up to seven passengers, though the second row captain's chairs option reduces seating to six. The second row offers plenty of legroom, and even the third row is fairly spacious for an SUV. So if you're looking to carry a larger family or group, the X7 can handle it comfortably. Tech-wise, the X7 is fully loaded. The standard feature is the BMW iDrive 8 infotainment system, which you can see right here. It's a curved display that combines a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a 14.9-inch touchscreen. This setup is amazing, responsive, and packed with features. You'll have access to everything from navigation to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for my techies. Voice control also on board, making it easy to adjust settings or get directions without taking your hands off the wheel. Um, in addition, rare passengers get optional entertainment screens too, which is perfect for long trips. Uh, here we see the backup camera and we can see that this is a 360 view of the BMW X7. It kind of gives it like an animated look so you can see everything around the vehicle. I think this is a really cool feature. I know a lot of cars and SUVs are offering it. You can even see when the blinker is on. Um, so I think that's a really good feature to have. It's almost impossible to crash this vehicle i mean knock on wood and safety is another area where the 2023 bmw x7 excels bmw has included a full suite of driver assistance features as standard including forward collision warning um automated emergency braking lane departure warning and blind spot monitoring i love the way these turn signals look they go kind of in and out kind of like the new mazda turn signals going back to the safety features and optional driving assistance professional package adds adaptive cruise control with lane keeping assist making it nearly capable of semi-autonomous driving on highways which is both convenient and provides peace of mind now let's talk about fuel economy the six-cylinder X-Drive 40i gets an estimated 21 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway, which is reasonable for a luxury SUV. The V8 powered is thirstier, averaging around 60 miles per gallon city and 21 highway. In terms of pricing, the 2023 BMW X7 is positioned as a premium offering. Starting prices for the X-Drive 40i are around $77,000, and the M60i with the V8 engine jumps significantly, crossing the $100,000 mark. But looking around in the interior, as you can see, the shade is going up. I think that's a really nice luxury feature. Every luxury car SUV tends to have this. Uh, looking around in the amb ambient lighting, it looks really, really luxurious and really uh, stunning in here. I just love the cabin of the X7. One thing I don't particularly like is the X7 written across the front dashboard. Um, I, you can see it in my video. Um, I think that kind of maybe just a little bit gives it a tacky look. Here's me putting down the second row C um, or, you know, just trying, just trying to show you the back a little bit. And here, um, it is automatic, so that's a nice feature. I think these seats are exceptionally comfortable. Um, and 
it's just a very luxurious vehicle. Um, as you can see, those are a little slow, so it might be better if there was like a way to put it down um, manually. But if you get nice trunk space in this vehicle. Um, every all the materials are high end. Looking at the X7 from afar, and there it goes the seats back up. It just feels like you're in opulence. And I think when you're paying around 80 grand for, you know, an S a luxury SUV, that's what you expect. Um, coming back, coming around to the back, an automa uh, automatic trunk. With the third row um, down, there's 90.4 cubic feet of space. With it up, there's 12.8 cubic feet of space, which honestly is fine. I think that's sufficient space. I mean, I remember the days where like the MDX would not have any space behind the third row. So again, this is a pretty large SUV. Um, if you need the space, you can always put down the third row i love the way this is this opens it's like it's called like a hatch and i i, I think this can be used as a bench as well so if you're tailgating you can go ahead and take a seat there and it would it, it's just a nice option to have everything is automatic obviously and uh, the luxury feel um coming around to the side you can see that the floor lightens up with your welcome lights um, and there's also lights within the door sills. The vehicle is low right now. So this does have um, air suspension um, and you can set the height of the vehicle to your liking. Um, obviously, if you're off-roading, you do want to give it a higher, um, a higher setting of the suspension blinking the lights i think the fade is really cool i know some people don't like it i love that the grill lights up it just gives it a mean menacing look um overall i think the bmw x7 is just stunning i think that there are obviously things that can improve in the x7 um maybe i think that bmw can offer a little bit more in terms of the interior it is stunning but i think that they should differentiate it from their other models um all in all i think that i would definitely recommend if you're in the market for a luxury suv specifically three rows to give the bmw x7 a, a look or a test drive obviously there's many options but competitive competitively i think that the x7 excels in front of the q7 audi q7 but hand in hand with the mercedes gls so definitely if you have that kind of money to throw around i would test all of my options see which one i like the best but the x7 truly excels in in the way it looks and the way it feels i think that you know no one's gonna confuse this for anything else it is a bmw and everything just works like it, it's just the bmw just knows how to make cars they make the ultimate driving machines right so this is one of the best in the business here we can see that i'm testing out the automatic uh parking fu function so when you pull into a driveway or a parking spot you can press a button to memorize it and then you hit it and it'll automatically reverse back thank you for watching